The United States has welcomed Saudi Arabia's suggestion that it may be winding down its airstrike campaign in Yemen. The Saudi-led coalition that's battling rebel forces says it will continue to back the Yemeni government. The announcement follows an airstrike in northwestern Yemen, which reportedly killed more than 100 people. Well, the Saudi-led coalition began its intervention in the Yemen's conflict almost a year ago. It targeted Yemen's Houthi-led rebels with airstrikes and sent in ground troops. The Houthis took Yemen's capital in September 2014 before continuing their advance south. Backed by the coalition government, allied forces have been able to push them back, but fighting has largely reached a stalemate. And the UN says that more than 6,000 people have been killed in the fighting, half of them civilians. Well, for more on this, TRT World's Abu Bakr al-Shamahi joins me live in the studio. Um, do these latest comments then mean that the war is coming to an end? Well, there's been hope before that that's going to happen. Uh, there's been talk of ceasefires in the past, and in, in effect, the war's actually intensified uh, over the past year. The difference right now is that the for the first time in last month, or this month, sorry, um, the Houthis and the Saudis had direct talks in Saudi Arabia. Um, considering that the Houthis had been invited to Saudi Arabia in the past and had refused to go, um, it does indicate that perhaps they're now looking for a deal and their position's perhaps weakening, uh, and that it could indicate that a deal may be on the cards. But almost a year after intervention, um, would you say the Saudi-led coalition has been a success? Well, I mean, if you look at the situation on the ground in Yemen, you've got uh, the Houthis and their allies in control of a significant part of the country, including the capital. Uh, the Saudis have, and their allies on the ground have been unable to push them back in those areas. And even in the areas where they have been able to push them back, so if we look at uh, Aden in the south uh, and even Taiz in recent, in recent weeks, where they've been able to push the Houthis back, there hasn't really been, uh, they haven't really been able to exercise their, their control on the ground. So uh, in Aden, which the Houthis left in July, um, the government is still not able to effectively be present uh, in the city. The, the president still remains in Saudi Arabia um, and they've continued to fight Al-Qaeda and other similar groups in, in the city itself. So they don't have security there, they don't have control there. Um, and the Saudis have been unable to push out the Houthis from the actual capital itself. We'll wait and see what happens over the next few weeks, I guess. Abu Bakr, thank you.